guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here and I'm going to depot my Masquerade Mini Palette. If you did see my uh, palette decluttered that went up earlier this month, you would know that I decided to declutter this palette and I do want to depot some of the shades, but I feel like I can still kind of declutter a few of them as well. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and I am going to compare the shades in here to what I have in my collection already and either declutter like similar shades in here or if I like the formula in here better, I will declutter the ones that I have at the moment in my singles collection. But uh, before we jump into the putting this palette, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just jump in to the video. Okay, so I think how I'm gonna tackle this is how I've seen a couple of people do uh, with other kind of cardboard packaging, and that is to take off the kind of top layer or like this bit where the pants are sitting on. So if you look here, you can see that there is like a kind of separate part where the eyeshadows are kind of sitting and so that's what I'm going to do and then hopefully there will be layers of cardboard inside that I can kind of peel off and then take the eyeshadows out without damaging them. So that's going to be the plan. So I have like a, just a kitchen knife, it's not anything like too sharp so hopefully I won't cut myself but I will be careful and if you're doing this at home please be careful as well because we don't want any accidents. But I'm going to start, I think I'm just going to jump into it because I don't know, I'm just not going to stall loads so I'm going to start by trying to like wedge this in here and trying to like get this top kind of um, bit of cardboard off. And again, when you're doing this, try to keep the blade away from you so you don't, again, have any accidents. Okay, so we think we might have this loose, not quite. This corner is still stuck. There we go. So I feel like this is now coming off. Uh, and this is going to be quite interesting because I haven't depotted a palette like this in forever. The only palette that I haven't depotted recently is my Colourpop ones. So this is going to be quite interesting. But this is what it looks like and I feel like if you peel this kind of yellow bit off, it will show yeah the layers there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I feel like hopefully this won't be too too hard to depot, but I am going to um, yeah, try to do that. So I'm going to peel off this yellow top layer and then we're going to take it from there. Okay, I think this is done I uh, good. I, I haven't gotten everything off and um, maybe I'll try to get this corner off as well so I can get in under the um, cardboard but there we go. So as you can see there are several layers of cardboard right here. I'm hoping you can pick that up on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to peel them off one by one and um, I think the shadows should be sitting on the bottom one but I just want to peel them off one by one to be safe and so I don't like risk bending the eyeshadows. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with the top layer and I'm just going to kind of wedge my knife in there and hopefully that will start like kind of peeling it off. And yes, so I'm just going to try to like peel it off and then take it from there. And I'm trying to be as careful as possible because I don't want to kind of get my fingers into these eyeshadows. Um, but yes, I'm just going to try to do this as well as I can. Okay, so I've gotten the like top bottom four here. I mean, it's not like I think the palette is this way originally, but but these four are basically down to where the eyeshadows are. So I'm gonna try to get my tool in here now. Actually, I still use the knife. I just try to like wedge these eyeshadows out without like bending the pan. 
and hopefully we'll be able to depot them. So this, this one came off pretty nicely. I am going to try to get the paper off, but I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm just going to try to like get them out first. I'm going to try to put them in order so that I remember which eyeshadow is which. Um, just so that I don't like, I can name them afterwards because I ideally want to put the name of the eyeshadows on the back. Yeah, so that one came off straight away, um, so that's pretty good. But yes, I'm just going to keep going and then we can take it from there. So one that I want to be really, really careful with is this purple right here because that is like my favorite. So I'm getting, I mean this one right here. This is like one of my favorite mattes in this palette and I want to be really, really careful. So I'm going to try to get as much of the cardboard around it away just because I don't want to like bend the pan and mess this eyeshadow up. Oh, actually just taking that off seems like it's coming off. So that's really good for me because like I said, this is one of my favorite shades in this palette. And that came out perfectly. And when you try to get these pants out, especially the mats, be gentle so you don't bend the pants because when you bend them, that's when they break. So just be careful with that and then you should be able to get them out pretty smoothly. So there we have it, that's the empty palette and we have all of the shades basically completely intact. I stuck my nail in some of them but I don't care about that. As long as they don't crack I am happy with that so I'm gonna place them out right here the way they are in the palette and I'm gonna start putting magnets on these because I'm pretty sure that um, there aren't any magnets um, on the back or like they're not magnetic. I'm gonna try quickly with this palette, but I'm pretty sure these aren't magnetic So yeah, they're not um, So I will have to put baggies on them But what I'm gonna start by doing probably off camera is first tidy up the table a bit And then I'm gonna get all of the kind of gunk off the back uh, So that I can put the magnets on flatly. Okay, so I'm back and I have now put the sticker and the magnet on all of the backs So they all marked now, which is really nice and I yeah kept them in this order You still have the names and part of me thought like halfway through that Maybe it's unnecessary putting magnets and names on the ones I'm going to declutter But even then I'm gonna see if someone wants them and if not I might just take the sticker off again and trust me I have like I have enough stickers I have like this whole bunch of stickers so that's not the end of the world and then I can just reuse the pan uh, to press other things into so that's what I thought and that's kind of what I decided to do so now what I'm gonna do because now I'm kind of going to the uh, declutter part so I'm gonna kind of go through everything and declutter and I'm gonna compare them to like the single eyeshadows that I already have in my collection so for example this is like my cool tones where most of these kind of top colorful shades would go and then we also have my warm tones which is almost full um which is where I'm gonna compare the uh, kind of matte browns and stuff too but I'm gonna start with the colorful shades because I think I'm gonna keep most of those so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of scoot I'm gonna put all of the warm colors to the side the ones that I'm sure are like warm colors and then I'm gonna look at the rest okay I think these are the ones I'm gonna compare now actually now I'm gonna take this one out too so these are the ones I'm going to compare in this pile. So just off the bat, someone that I know I'm going to keep. I already mentioned this color, but this is one of my favorite mattes from the color, like from the palette, and that is the shade Sobo. This one is definitely going to stay, so I'm going to put that in here. Um, one comparison that I made in my kind of declutter thing, where I kind of swatched my 
uh, colour pop palettes that I was going to declutter and I posted that uh, like a couple weeks ago I think I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video but I actually filmed that yesterday I compared it to this purple shade here and I decided to keep this one and declutter the one in the colour pop palette so I'm going to keep this one as well uh, I'm not going to organize anything right now I'm just going to put it in the palette um, I think that's what I'm going to start with actually I'm also going to keep this pink because I really like this pink and I know that I'm keeping a lot so far but I did say in my kind of video with these that I was going to most likely keep most of the colourful shades and I'm going to try to most of the or like a lot of neutrals at least so I'm not surprised so far um one shade that I'm gonna declutter is this one right here. I do have a lot of similar shades, maybe not in this palette. And like in my warm top palettes, I have similar shades but like warmer. But the reason why I want to declutter this is because I have a lot of similar shades in other palettes. And although it is a stunning kind of shade, uh, I don't reach for these shades too often, so that can go. And that was the shade Calabar. Next up, I want to compare this blue and this blue. I mean, they look a bit different, but I'm still gonna compare them to see which one I like better. This is from the Juvia's Place palette and this is a single from uh, Makeup Geek in Pegasus. They are quite similar but the other one is a bit deeper. Um, I like them both. <laughs> is it excessive keeping both? Probably. Will I keep both anyway? Probably. Because I don't really have too many of these shades and I do like them so I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, the green, I really like this green, I don't really have anything like it, so I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, this one here, it looks quite purple, but I know that this is, like, it's more of a blue shade. Uh, so I'm going to probably, I'm thinking if I have anything similar that I can swatch it to, but I don't think I do. I'm going to swatch it out just on my hand so you can see. But it's definitely like a, it's like a blurple, because now it looks kind of purple, but if I swatch it next to this actual purple, it looks very blue. So I'm going to keep that one as well, because I don't have anything similar. The only thing I can think of that is similar is this one here from uh, Makeup Geek again. I don't know what shade that is in, but that's not as nice. And it has like more of a purple shift, but it's a bit more sheer. And maybe actually it's time to let this one go, I just thought, because this also reminds me of a shade that I have now from Cleona, which is called Stencil, and that is like a purple to blue shift, and it's way nicer than this, and I don't reach for these shades too often, so I think I'm actually going to declutter this one and then keep this one, because I don't, I think that's more kind of unique in my collection. This blue here is also one that is quite unique, I don't have anything like it obviously in my singles collection as you can see, so I'm going to keep this one as well. And then for this shimmer here, it's quite a stunning one. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's more kind of cool toned. I think it's more cool toned than it is warm toned. Uh, I'm thinking if I have anything similar to it. Like as you can see here, the only kind of light shades I have is a silver, which is not similar to, and then this kind of iridescent pinky shade. Um, I don't think I have anything similar. I'm going to look in my warm tone palette because this is more of a neutral kind of slightly leaning warm so I might have something that's like a more of a cool toned shimmer that I might compare it to. No, that's too warm. That's probably more gold and glittery but yeah I'm gonna keep that one too. I like it. I don't have too many kind of brow bone shades in these palettes so I'm gonna keep that one. However one thing that I'm seeing now is that this shade here which is the iridescent pink that I swatched is not that nice and I do have my clear one iridescent shades now so I think I'm gonna declutter that one as well. So that was this shade here, which I think is one of the NYX In Your Element air palette shades, and this was just a lilac shade in there, so I'm going to declutter this one. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, that was all of the kind of cool tone shades, so this palette is done. Again, I'm not going to organize it in this video, I think I'm going to do that on my own time, because it's not too much that I need to move around, but that is this palette finished. So let's look at my warm tone palette and warm tone shades. So here, there's a lot of overlapping shades. Um, for example, there's all of these oranges that I'm going to compare. I'm not going to keep all of them. Same with these two, look quite similar as well. I'm going to compare that to what I have. But I'm going to start with this shade because I think this is one that I want to keep. So this one here is like a stunning gold shade and it is quite glitter like glittery as well and it's quite pigmented. So I really, really like that. And the thing I can think of that it's similar to is this shade here, which is Flame Forever from Makeup Geek. But that's definitely more yellow tone and this is more bronze. I'm going to compare it to this one too, which is a depotted shade from one of my Tom Ford quads. And that is quite similar, but I feel like that's more of a topper shade. So I think I'm going to keep this one because I really like this shade. And it's like, it's, 
it's quite sparkly which I enjoy so yeah this is a really nice shade so I'm gonna keep that and with that I'm actually filled up this palette already uh, but I think again when I do the moving around I'm gonna move around some of the shades that are a bit kind of more cool tone in here to this palette uh, I'm gonna do that now actually so I have the room I think this shade here which is just a cream shade I'm gonna move to the other palette so I have one in each palette because this one I have in there and that is more kind of yellow toned whereas um, this one in here is more pink toned. I think this brown right here too is more of a neutral kind of brown so I'm going to put that in another palette so that I have more room in here. I think it could have stayed but I just feel like it would be better to put another one just simply because I don't have that much room in my warm tone palettes. Okay so I think that's good for now so now I'm going to go ahead and kind of compare things. And just because I moved that around I'm actually going to compare that to these two shades here so just quickly I'm going to swatch that out as I said that is more kind of of a neutral kind of brown rather than a warm brown but I'm going to compare that to these two shades right here so this one is the shade Burkina from uh, Juvia's Place I think this is going to be more warm but let's see yeah that's definitely a bit more warm and then we have this slightly deeper one in um, Fulani if I'm butchering these names I'm really really sorry I'm doing my best but yeah so with these two I feel like I don't want to keep all of these, but I'm going to see if there's any more browns that I can compare them to. <sighs> Not really. I'm going to actually swatch out this shade too here, because what I'm thinking is that I'm going to... Yeah, I think what I want to do is I want to keep this brown here, because it's more of a swimsuit shade. I want to declutter this one, and then keep some of the more orangey ones, because this is kind of in between the orange and the cool browns, or like the neutral browns. So this one is going to stay, so I'm going to put that in here. And with that, I'm going to put this palette away again. So before I jump into comparing these kind of orangey tones, I'm just going to go through these, this kind of shimmer shade first. So this one is the shade Dahia from the um, Masquerade Mini palette, obviously. And that is what this looks like. It's really beautiful. I have this in my Panos eyeshadows, and I really, really enjoy this shade. And I'm thinking what could be similar. I think maybe this shade, which is an Anastasia shade, that's slightly more pink toned. Um... Hmm. But they are quite similar as well. We have this one, which I think will also be a bit more kind of pink toned. Actually, these mm, these three are all very, very similar. I don't think I want to keep all three of them. Honestly, although I feel like these two are more similar, I feel like I want to declutter this shade, which is an Anastasia shade, I think, in the shade Gem. Yeah, because this one is not as shiny and I feel like I don't kind of like that as much. So this one is going to be decluttered. And I'm going to chuck this in, in its place. I'm actually saw that maybe this shit here will be quite similar as well. Oh my goodness, those are like dupes, aren't they? That is, I believe, Woodwinked from MAC. Yes. So, that's a bit tricky actually. Because they don't look too too similar in the pan, but they are actually really similar. So I think since I don't reach for like shades like this any like much anymore, especially not in my singles, my singles are more for like special shades. I think I'm actually going to declare Mac Woodwing because this is much older than the Juvia's Place shade, and I think it's time to go. So yeah, this one is going to be declared, which is a bit surprising to me because I do really like this shade. But since they are too like since they are so so similar, I think this one can go. That also left me a bit more room in my um, warm toned kind of palette. So I'm going to kind of scooch these over here because I feel like that looks better. We have come to the orangey shades, which is where it's going to be a bit more tricky because. I feel like looking at them in the pan they all look both quite similar but also quite different and I already have a few more kind of oranges in here but not too too many um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swatch these three out on my hand first I'm going to start with this one which is the shade Sulu which is really really nice then we have this one which is Cairo which is one with glitters in it but if it's a nice tone I might keep it anyway yeah that's really really bright I really quite like that then we have the last shade, which is the deeper of the bunch, which is Ada. Um, but I have a feeling this might not swatch as deep as it looks, because that's like a thing that I've noticed with the Judas Place formula. And yeah, that's more kind of red toned. So with these, like you can see, they all have slightly different undertones. They are slightly different, but I don't think I need all three. And I don't think, like, I think it's excessive for them to have all three of these in the palette. But yeah, that's them. And I also want to compare them to this shade here, which I believe is Rule from MAC. 
And yeah, that's definitely more kind of orange base, whereas these have a bit more, this have a bit more brown to it, and these are a bit more burnt. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually declutter the one with the shimmers in it, because although it is a beautiful undertone, this one is like, it's quite similar, but it's slightly more red, and this one does have the glitter in it, which I don't prefer. So this one can go, and I think I'm going to keep the other two. And that actually makes it fit perfectly into this palette, so I'm really happy with that. But again, I'm going to organize it more later, but yes, that is it. So from that palette and from my singles, I ended up decluttering seven shades. Um, and actually, out of these, I think there's only three shades that come from the US Place palette. We have this one here, this one, and this one. And then the rest are just shades that I thought I needed to declutter. Um, while I'm at it, I might just have an overlook at the palettes again, just to see if there's anything else I want to declutter. I don't think there will be, but I'm just going to do it just in case. So I'm going to shoot this to the side, and then I am going to look at the palette just quickly again, just to see if there's anything, like I said, that I feel like is outdated or that I don't want to keep. So looking at this palette, the only thing that I can think of that I want to declutter is this shade here, which is Patina from MAC. And I have kept this because I quite like it, but I don't reach for it too often, but also I think that my, although it is like a satin shade, this might be quite nice as like a blending out shade in the transition. So I think for now I'm gonna keep that. But it is one that is on the shopping block, and I have talked about that in one of my shop massage videos as well. But other than that, I think this palette is pretty good. Um, I did get rid of some of the older shades already when I went through it before. So I think for now this is like something that I'm quite happy with. With this palette here, um... Again, actually, there is like a similar shade here to Patina, which is, I think, maybe Soba from MAC. This one is, like I said, quite similar, so I think maybe I just want to keep one of those two. Because you can see there, they are very, very similar. Okay, I'll take that back. So that is actually Patina, and that is uh, Soba. And I feel like I don't want to keep both of these. And the one I think will work best in the way that I would use them is Soba because Patina has a bit more sheen to it so I think I'm gonna keep Soba although it looks a bit sparkly but I think that's just because I had sparkles on my hand so I'm gonna keep this one and I think I'm gonna get rid of Patina. You know what I actually made a decision right now and I kind of smudged them on my wrist I don't know if you can pick that up on camera but I think I'm gonna do the opposite I'm actually I'm gonna uh, declare Soba and keep Patina because this is more of a unique tone and this is just ends up being like a warm brown when it's like well like a neutral warm brown when I smudge it out whereas this is more of a kind of almost taupey shade with some golden kind of sheen to it so I think I'm actually going to keep this one because it's more unique and I'm going to declare the Soba instead okay so that means that I have one room left in this palette and I also have one room left in this palette and again I don't think this oh actually I just saw one more shade that I want to declutter this one right here is a Franken shade that I made once and although it's kind of like a nice shade. I have similar shades in my collection and it's not like the nicest formula. And also, since I also have my like Cleona shades now, I just feel like it's time to let this one go. So this one is also one that I'm going to let go of. Okay, so I am happy now. I think that's all I want to declutter. There's nothing really that I see in here that I want to let go of at this time. So that is it. And this is what my two kind of single palettes ended up looking like. I really like them. Again, I need to reorganize them a bit, but I think that is a good declutter. I'm really, really happy. I decluttered more actually than I thought. I let go of nine shades in total, both from the GS Base Masquerade palette as well as my single collection in general. So that is it for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.